let's say, let's say I have a profile and I want to relate to other users. What would I do? So you want to to link a user to another one. Um, then you would use another feature that I um, it was also going to demo. Should oh. we do that one now too? <laughs> um, so we wanted to give a few options on the whole users thing, um, and one of the option other um, options that I've added um, is a user picker field. So if we were to go into the blog post here and add a field here called authors um, and you might remember um, Antoine showed it or you showed us the, the thing Antoine had done with um, MK Docs where it's now listing everyone that's edited a document um, rather than just one particular person. Um, so you could add a user picker field um, and when you go in there you can set it up as to what roles the user must be in. Um, in this case we'll just say all the roles um, and allow multiples. <laughs> and then we can go into the blog and edit a blog post and select a couple of, of authors. I think we can even sort them as well. And I'll go at the top because I'm the most important. Um, and that's now available if we look at the post. I think I added the code in. Yeah. The two authors. So simple display with just a display text. The username, um, username. yeah. Yeah. Um, simple view, it does have to get all the users. Um, or does have to get the user entity, so there's, you know, you can override the view um, and, That's perfect. And, and do what you want to. Um, but say, for example, to answer your question before, of how could we link a couple of users? And this is also where you would put the bio of the user because you have access to the user ID, so you can load it, load the bio, display it with the blog post and picture. Um, but we could also do the same thing back on our um, custom user settings and we could say that Dean is linked to the admin user. You say related? Related, yeah, um, which kind of makes sense because, you know, most of the time on this oh. particular site, I will be the admin, but I probably want to publish blog posts under my name, not the admin's name. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of work, but at the same time, knowing how proficient you are with Orchard, I'm sure it's not, it's straightforward. There is no surprise or it was not that hard to implement, right? For you, I mean. No, I mean, it's probably the big, I, I meant to do this ages ago, but the, the thing blocking it was actually the, the user ID PR that we um, we already talked about. Um, because um, if you're going to do a user picker, you need an ID field. Um, well, it could have been the username, but you decide. Well, yeah, but the username can change and then it's, and then it's lost and, and then the feature isn't right and people will report bugs and... Um, and Jasmine will complain. Um, so when, when you so do, now that we've got the user ID, we can do some of the stuff with users that we wanted to. When you type to search, um, there is a, a custom API to do that? Yeah, yeah, it retrieves 50. It's very simple because it's- Just a display exactly text? Just the username and also whether they're enabled or not. Um, so we have the ability to say, say I leave and I've, um, and, oh, and we get a, we get a new author. Um, you still want to keep a record of that user because you know I was there, so I do show up as not okay, enabled in the, in so the list. Perfect. Um, and normally you'd probably restrict the roles that you can select because something like this, 
you wouldn't want any of the administrators being selected as being an author. You, you might restrict it to the editors, for example, um, we or index, the contributors. Do we index this property not enabled? Um, yes, I think we do. We should definitely. I hope we do because when yeah. we query the users, that makes sense to not to say I don't want the disabled users. There could be issues with that. You could expose users that you don't want people to see. Yeah, I'm sure it's in the um, okay, in the fine. index, um, and we index this field as well. So this is the, is in the SQL indexing. Okay. Um, that's great. Yeah. So when you index the field, when you index the field, you index the ID and the username. I think I just index the ID. So you can't do a search on the username. Um, the search on the username, you'd probably do a join on the user index I table, which has thinking, it. I am thinking Lucene. Uh, Lucene has. Well, if you don't provide the name, then you don't, but that might be interesting. Yeah, we could possibly provide the name to Lucene. Do we do a, a, use, a Lucene users index? Because you would it's, cross. It's, oh, I see what you mean. Ah, no, but here it's a field. It's a content field. So yeah, it's, it, it's a field. So it would ask for any index value for a content field or for a part. And you can say, oh, because it's an author or user picker, I will provide one, the user ID, and then the username. Yeah, no, so people can, can search by user ID and stored and search by your name and stored. It makes sense. Non-tokenized, non-tokenized stored. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thanks a lot. That's beautiful. That's right. Uh, nice to be able to do these ones. It's great. I mean, people will be so happy with that. Um, there were some questions. Oh, questions from David Aiden on the issue and he commented on that. So there is no in your PR, there is no thing for the front end. So it's just something for storing and editing user profiles. It doesn't prevent you from creating your custom profile page using a Razor page or a controller or your custom module with a URL route that will point to the current user or to a name user, whatever you want, and then display whatever information you want to show. Okay. Just what you want to show, because if we had to do something automatic, I mean, how do we, how would we know what to display and how to display it? Because whatever we do, we you will want to be able to change how it's displayed and what is displayed. So that's too complex. So we don't, we should not enter this game and just maybe someone will do a module for that, like a profile module that will create a page and you can define on the front end how to render things. But I prefer people to create their own controller and um, render whatever they want. Um, uh, so that's yes, the I, I, point generally, I would generally agree with that. Um, and I, I think it's important for people to do this themselves because partly they need to understand the security implications of yeah. what they're choosing to display and, and so act, actively make their own choices. What we could do is at least the route and uh, template so that people know what shape to replace. And they don't have to provide the run. They just enable the feature and they did the shape template just to provide something. And they don't have to code anything. They could go in the admin and change the shape template. The default shape template should be super simple by saying this is a username or whatever. Okay. And the feature might say I only allow the current user to see their profile, or you can also have the route that goes to any profile. That could be too, that could be the simple feature for that. And it's, and mostly sufficient for anyone. That would be super easy. Then another comment I made with the PR is that on the top right where you see admin, maybe we would need a, a link in the drop down to go to your profile. Because when you're, you know, if maybe tomorrow we have st stuff from the current user there, like settings and preferences and things like this, that we might, it might be easier for the current user to go to, its, to, to their profile from there. That might be a nice thing to do. Yeah, I think that one's probably important um, but requires some permissions um, because just, one, of the, one of the problems with users, uh, the permissions is fine, we just need to add them. Um, yeah. The problem with users at the moment is it's, you can either see them or you can't. So, you know, if I am just an, an editor or a contributor, I can't go in and change my password, change my name, change my email address, anything about my mm -hmm. details. Um, so some permissions and then 
super easy to have a, a page up here to just edit yourself. Yep. Um, yeah, manage manage own. <laughs> yeah, manage right. things permission. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be hard to handle that at the field level or the type level or the settings. Maybe that should be at the custom at the type level at the settings level. Like you can say this one needs to have these holes to be able to edit their own profile or something. Like that. I figured we'd probably need to make it a little bit granular so that the the, the user type. Um, you know, obviously they can't edit their own roles. Um, yeah. So the granularity would be on the user type and any yeah. other section type. type. Yeah, um, so I've seen the custom type settings on the type. Yep, and that's something to do that is doable with custom type settings. Uh, so we could yeah, provide so it if, if we detect that it's custom site, custom user settings, then we could add the section for the role management and then it will be stored with the type. And then we can drive the sections here. That that will work. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I think that should be be quite doable and a useful thing to have. Yeah. Easy. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's recorded. I won't forget. Well, you will. You won't forget. I will forget. But it's recorded, so people who watch the meeting will remember what we said. Beautiful. Thanks a lot.